hello guys so now we shall be discussing regarding the ovaries okay so ovaries are a part of the female reproductive tract okay so these are one of the parts of your female reproductive organs right so if you look at the ovaries whether it might be ovaries or whether it might be testes from where are these uh, male and female gonads right so ovaries are also called as gonads so male gonads or female gonads from where do they develop so if you look at the developmental process we have got something called as mesonephros okay so from this mesonephros only the ovaries as well as the male gonads they both of them develop now where are these mesonephros present so to know where are these mesonephros present let me just draw a rough picture so of the developing uh, baby over here let us say this is the developing fetus okay and this is called as the head fold this is called as the pericardial sac this is called as the gut okay let me yeah this is called as a head fold this is called as a mouth pericardial sac and this is called as a gut so this is how the structure is okay now here another important thing which you need to know over here is that here you have got a structure called as foregut okay now from this foregut you see a structure that is coming down this particular structure over here is called as your mid gut and finally here you have got what this is called as your hind gut so foregut mid gut as well as hind gut okay so these are the structures that are located over here so this is called as foregut over here right and this part is called as your mid gut over here and this part is called as your hind gut over here okay right now behind this behind this if we draw a structure over here this particular structure that is located behind this this is what is called as your mesonephros what is this structure over here called as this is called as mesonephros so this is from the mesonephros only you will have the male and female gonads development so the male and female gonads develop from the mesonephros so if you look at the ovary where is the ovary exactly present all of you all of you should know this one very important thing that this particular ligament which I have drawn over here is called as a broad ligament of the uterus okay this yellow color ligament which you can see is a broad ligament of the uterus so this is how the ligament actually is placed uh, let us say this is the uterus these are your fallopian tubes right I'm just drawing a rough picture here and let us say these are the ovaries over here okay now if you look at if you look at the broad ligament over here this is how the broad ligament is placed you see this is how the broad ligament of the uterus is placed so this broad ligament of the why it is called broad ligament of the uterus the reason is it is completely broad and covering your entire uterus like this okay so this particular thing over here is called as a broad ligament of your uterus okay so this particular thing over here is called as a broad ligament of the uterus clear now if i ask you where is this uh, ovary exactly present what will you tell ovary is attached to the posterior surface of the broad ligament where is the posterior surface of the broad ligament see this surface over here is called as a posterior surface this surface is a posterior surface so ovary is attached to the posterior surface of the broad ligament so ovary is attached to the posterior surface of the broad ligament of the uterus right now if you list out what are the different kinds of functions of the ovaries which you have the first important function is that ovaries they produce oocytes in preparation for fertilization all of you know this thing second important thing ovaries are also responsible to release some hormones like estrogen as well as progesterone so these are the two main functions one is it produces oocytes why is it producing oocyte later on for fertilization and second important thing is that it even releases hormones like progesterone as well as estrogen okay 
so it produces oocytes right for fertilization oocytes for fertilization and the second important thing is it produces estrogen as well as progesterone it produces what estrogen as well as progesterone for example if i cut down uh, the ovary right if i make a section of ovary let us see what are the structures that are located inside for example let us say this is a cut section of the ovary let us say this is a cut section of the ovary right now within this cut section of the ovary outside outside here you will have a very important epithelium in this way you see what is the shape of the epithelium here what is the shape of the epithelium which i am drawing over here yes so this particular shape of the epithelium which i am drawing over here is isn't it called as a cuboidal epithelium yes or no isn't it cuboidal shape like this on all the sides You see, this epithelium which is located on the outer layer, this is called as a cuboidal epithelium. After this cuboidal epithelium, whatever you have is a cortex. Okay. So, after this cuboidal epithelium, whatever layer you have got after this cuboidal epithelium, you call it as a cortex. And finally, the center part is called as a medulla. Now, uh, let me draw this structure and then you will understand the cortex and the medulla over here. So, here exactly the structures which I am drawing like this right so these structures over here which i'm drawing like this these are called as follicles what are these these are called as follicles and you should also know one very important thing each follicle is having an oocyte okay each follicle is having what it is having an oocyte and now let us draw the medulla part so this part which you can see right so this part which you can see where there are a lot of fiber like things like this right fiber like structures so these structures over here this center part whatever you can see is called as your medulla so this part over here is called as your medulla and now next important thing is that where is this uh, cortex located you told me there is cortex where is this cortex located actually this is a cortex so whatever i'm highlighting with the yellow over here is your cortex here right now you see this picture now in this you see three important layers outer which are not clearly demarcated obviously the outermost layer which is green in color right with the green epithelium whatever i have drawn this is called as a cuboidal after that there is yellow color epithelium uh, not yellow color epithelium yellow color layer which i have drawn here this is called as a cortex cortex itself is having what ovarian follicles what are these ovarian follicles and next in the center that red color thing whatever you can see is called as a medulla and what is medulla consisting of medulla is consisting of all the neurovascular structures and this point where there is an entry this entry point over here you see this entry point is called as a hilum what is this this is called as a hilum and this epithelium over here is called as the cuboidal this epithelium over here is called as the cuboidal epithelium and this center part over here is called as your medulla this is called as your medulla okay and next important thing uh, these structures over here these are called as what these are called as ovarian follicles these are called as your ovarian follicles and this yellow part over here is called as your cortex yellow part over here is called as your cortex now uh, let us look at what let us write down all the structures which we have talked here for example on the surface what do you have surface in the sense the outermost layer outermost layer what do you have you have got simple cuboidal epithelium right what is that you have got simple you 
you have got simple cuboidal epithelium what kind of epithelium is this this is also called as a germinal epithelium germinal epithelium or simple cuboidal epithelium after that what is the next layer you have got the next layer you have got is a cortex okay now within this cortex what are the important things you need to know you know that this cortex is having connective tissue this cortex is having connective tissue and not only connective tissue there are also ovarian follicles ovarian follicles and all of these ovarian follicles are having what oocytes right and after that the center part over here is called as your medulla center part over here is called as medulla and medulla is formed by what loose connective tissue center part medulla is formed by loose connective tissue now attached to the ovary what are the different kinds of ligaments we have got basically we have got only two different kinds of ligaments which are attached to the ovary so if we look at the ligaments of the ovary so basically how many ligaments we have got we have got only two different types of ligaments over here i will show you in the form of a picture but first of all let me write it down one is called as suspensory ligament and the other one is called as a ligament of ovary one is called as the suspensory ligament next one is called as your ligament of the ovary so ligament of the ovary as well as the suspensory ligament which we have got two important ligaments so just look at this picture over here right so don't uh, uh, worry about this particular picture over here this is the same picture which looks like this okay so only the cut section is this okay so here you know that this is your ovary this is the ovary now this ovary is having two important ligaments over here right so this particular ligament which you can see and by the way what is this a green yellow color ligament here this is called as your broad ligament this is called as your broad ligament of ovary this green color ligament over here is called as your ligament of ovary ligament of ovary and in the same way this uh, violet color ligament over here is called as a suspensory ligament suspensory ligament so how many ligaments we have discussed to the ovary one is called as a ligament of the ovary and the other one is called as a suspensory ligament now coming on to the blood supply now in this blood supply you can see three important colors over here let us first name down what are these arteries over here the first important artery which you can see over here is called as your internal iliac artery now this internal iliac artery is giving two branches one yellow color branch and one red color branch this yellow color branch is called as uterine artery why uterine artery why because it is supplying to your uterus and this uh, red color branches are called as vaginal arteries because it is supplying to your vagina vaginal arteries because it is supplying to your vagina and in the same way this green color artery which you can see from where it is coming you know this is your abdominal iota okay so directly from the abdominal iota you see a branch that is coming here and this particular branch is called as your ovarian artery so i can by looking at this picture i can tell that ovarian artery supplies ovaries in the same way it even supplies to your fallopian tube also this is your fallopian tube okay so this is the common blood supply for both of them so this is all you need to know regarding the ovaries guys so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye